Hey guys, how's it going? Tez back again with another episode of the My Player series here on Xbox One. And as you can see, we met expectation with the goal scored tally for uh, for our previous batch of four fixes. Unfortunately, our goals to shots conversion rate wasn't quite good enough, nor was our average match rating. But we're still performing quite well, as you can see on the right hand side. Nine games played, six goals, and two assists. So hopefully, we can continue that run of form as a team. Sheffield United, we've been picking up result after result. We've got four wins in a row now, and uh, uh, unfortunately, they want a 9.0 rating from me out of these next four fixtures, which is going to be particularly hard to achieve. But two goals is definitely manageable, as is one assist. And uh, maintain goal conversion rate of 28% is doable. We just have to make sure that we're a little bit perhaps more selective or more clinical with our finishing. But let's jump into this first game then, away at Colchester. I'll talk with Billy Painter again. The last episode of this, as I record this on the Wednesday, didn't do that well. So if you missed it, there will be a link in the description. In the on, as an annotation on your screen rather in the bottom left hand side of the picture or check the channel page slash playlist for it uh, it did like half as well as it normally does so I don't know whether it didn't hit subboxes etc but if you missed it go back and check it out and then uh, feel free to come back to this one but let's jump into the game against Colchester shall we hopefully we can come out with a victory now of course actually before I, before I jump in of course there was an earlier episode of the AC Milan career mode earlier on today as well it's, uh, there's so many videos going up on the channel right now I think I'm doing 9 or 10 videos a week it's mental right now but the channel's doing really well so I can't thank you guys enough for that but anyway let's jump into Colchester game shall we was coming to us through the air. We'll try and flick it on. Not really too sure who won that header, but we'll chase the defender down. Oh, he just gets it away in time. Yes, Billy. He's done well. We'll try and get an assist if we can. Pull it back to me. Pull it back. Oh, no. I couldn't get the shot away. Oh, I did get the shot away. It just wasn't anywhere near as accurate as it could have been. Ref. Uh, give me an option. You've got a man in there. Turn on it and have a shot. Oh, it's a nice turn from Murphy. Same he went the wrong way. Try and go back this way. Ah, oh, that's my bad. I should have passed it. Be ready into what? Colchester play nice football until they get to the edge of the box and then they just absolutely kill themselves off. That's a nice ball. We've got a man on the overlap. Try and use him. Murphy. Oh, it's a poor pass looking for Billy Painter. Although it's dropped free. Uh, not really too sure what the goalkeeper was doing there. Just lunging at it with his feet and he could quite easily have just picked that up. Decent effort from Billy, and GG keeps. Nice work. We'll try and get on the end of this corner. And it comes. Up we go. Not quite able to get there. Bring that down. 0-0 nil then at half-time in a really, really dull game so far. There's only been a couple of chances at either end, and none of them, other than perhaps our shot, have been... Uh, you know, affecting the, or that had the potential to affect the scoreline. So uh, hopefully the second half could be a little bit more lively and uh, fingers crossed we could be a little bit more clinical in front of goal because that's what we need to uh, to keep up with our uh, objectives. So hopefully we can uh, we can step our game up second half. Oh, it's a lovely ball in behind. It's brought it down well. I'm not really too sure where to position myself here, to be completely honest. We'll pick up a corner. Too many defenders. I couldn't make a dart for the near post because I haven't got the acceleration to get away. I just tried to drop free on the edge of the box, but unfortunately got tackled. If he can whip this near post, I'll call for it. It's come in. Oh, we got up. We got a penalty for handball. We did really, really well there to put the defender off by jumping up with him. Uh, I'll have a quick look at the re... No, we won't have a look at the replay. Let's just skip straight to the pen, shall we? It's not going to be us to take it again, unfortunately. It's going to be Murphy for the second time this season with a penalty from the penalty spot. He scored his last one to uh, to give us a good 1-0 lead in the, in the game in the last episode. Can he do the same again? We're on the edge of the box. I'm going to try and run in. Oh, never mind. That's a great peno. Right into the roof of the net. And finally, we actually take the lead in this. And I've celebrated too early. Slid over. But 62 minutes in. It's Sheffield United 1. Colchester United 0. This could be a chance for them. Morrison into the box. I think it's Clinton Morrison, isn't it? Dixon on the edge of the box. They just won't have a shot. Although he's on side there. It's what? He squares it. You sweaty little bastards. It's Colchester 1. Sheffield United 1. That was naughty of them. I really expected Watt to just have the shot there. He had the perfect opportunity to pop there into the back of the net. And he decides to square it. Fair play. Question of offside, actually, as that ball was played through. But uh, we're back on level terms, unfortunately. Oh, and they've taken Billy Painter off for Jefferson. I don't like playing with him. Uh, let's try and get ourselves back in the game, shall we? Now's when Jefferson scores a hat-trick in the last ten minutes, just to prove me wrong. Right, the chance in the last few minutes to get them on the counter-attack here. Oh, ref. 
We had two men over on the right-hand side. I was about to play that through ball in behind the defensive line. Oh, well, nonetheless, we are taking a point from this game away at Colchester. We've won four on the trot, and now we've drawn one. We're still unbeaten, but unfortunately can't keep the winning run going. But we'll have to wait and see what the next game is. I think it's a cup game, actually. So we'll jump back to the... Uh, oh, where our reactions go up to. We'll jump back to the, uh, to the main screen and see who we've got next. Okay, so next up we have Shrewsbury away in the Johnson's Paint Trophy in the rain. And he's starting me up top alongside Jefferson. Not happy, Chez. So uh, we'll try our best to try and get a result out of this. It would be nice to go on a cheeky little cup run in a cup that we genuinely could stand a decent chance of winning the Johnson's Paint Trophy. So we'll have to wait and see how we go on in this one. Hopefully Jefferson can step his game up. Because uh, a trophy in our first season as a professional football player would be very pleasing indeed. So we'll have to wait and see how this one goes. Plays it out wide. I'll call for it down the line. Oh, it's a lovely ball. Oh, I can't quite keep it, but we could be in still. It's McGinn to Jefferson with a shot straight at the goalkeeper. Decent start, though, there. Nice football being played down that left-hand side. Unfortunately, it was kind of my fault that we lost possession in the first place because my guy is an absolute weakling. But we could be in again. Make me a run. Make me a run. I'm telling him to make a run. Jefferson's in. If I can find him, can't quite get the turn in. I'm still on my own. Oh, not anymore. Go on, then. We'll call for a free ball. He's played it. Play a cheeky one-two. Oh, that's a sexy little flick from us. Jefferson. Why would you play me there? I didn't call for it. Wowzers. Jefferson, you're an idiot. I, ju I didn't want to cut across him in case he just ran into me, because you know the AI does that sometimes. I didn't want him to pass to me, but nevertheless, he decided that would be the... Bloody hell, Woods is here. Woods is here. Woods' is hair is so ginger. Why can't I make my guy's hair that orange? I've not quite got the acceleration to get away. We'll turn inside, try and find Jefferson. We have done. What can he do with it? Not much, apparently. Oh, it's a nice ball through to begin. Great tackle from Jacobson. Great defending from Shrewsbury. Although they're oh, missing about with it on the edge of their box. I'll call for it. We'll get a turn in. And a shot back across. Goal! But unfortunately, we get too much on it. Not quite got as good a left foot as we might hope for at this particular stage. And unfortunately, pull that one across goal. I think we've got a two-star weak foot at the minute. So uh, that definitely needs improving. He was the one there, which has been flicked on. I'm going to try and take it around Woods if we can. We have done. Got a man in the middle. Oh, he's catching me up. I'm going to try and play it back here. Nice whip. Jefferson on the shot, and it goes horribly wide. I don't understand how, with whilst facing that way, he's been able to cut it at that angle. But nonetheless, another disappointing effort from a striker on his left foot in this game. Another really, really disappointing first half away at Shrewsbury. Hopefully this doesn't end as a draw. I'm not sure whether it goes to extra time and pens or whether there's a replay in the Johnson's paint. I think it goes straight to extra time. So if you stay at nil-nil or stay drawing for the foreseeable future, maybe we'll get the chance to take a penalty a little bit later on. We'll have to wait and see. But if we can get the win straight out in 90 minutes, then that's definitely got to be the task or the aim of the task at hand. He's found us. Try and play a dink. Is he onside? I think he might be off. He's not. He's on. Jose Baxter whips it to the back post. We've called for it. Can we get there? We can. Shot saved. The only option I had there was to pull it to the near post because I just did not have the angle with the defender next to me to get get it back across goal. But decent save to keep us out. We stay at nil nil. Fifteen minutes to go to look for that winner. Jose Baxter. It's once on the edge of the box. You get a cheeky turn in. No. It's just too many people around me. Going to have to pass it. I think. We work something. Can we work something? We'll call for it there. He's found me. Take it in our stride. Have the shot. Hits the defender. Stand it up. Oh, why have you slid to cross that? Why did you just stand it up so one of us could head it in? Still pressure on at the back. At the uh, the uh, latter stages of this game. Mills for uh, for Woods to change. Murphy beats the man. Whips it up. Jefferson, can he win us the game? No, he can't even win the header, let alone the game. We're in. We could be in. I call for through ball. Play me. He has done. Try and hold the defender off. He's so strong, this guy, though. He's been all over me all game. I'm gonna, oh, we've done him. We whip across him. We can. Can we find someone? We can. Can we win it? We can't. Oh, chance finish. Yes! 1-0. 90 second minute winner, boys. All instigated by our pressure down the right-hand side. Lovely cross. Great save from the first step. But we scramble it over the line with the last kick off. That's a fantastic save. Scramble it over the line. Really tidy finish across into that bottom corner. So accurate. Fantastic goal. 
Side foot into the bottom corner. We're going to win it, guys. We're going to progress through to the next round of the Johnson's Paint Trophy with a terrific 1-0 win away from home. We have snatched that. I apologise for anyone using earphones if that was, a little, <laughs> that was a little bit loud for you there when we scored that goal. And there goes the final whistle. Wowzers, what a way to finish. We're going to take a 1-0 win from this one then. We're still unbeaten in all competitions in six games. Let's jump back to uh, 6.8 overall. No goals so far in uh, in this episode since they wanted two for us, two from us was it from uh, from this game well, they gave us an assist there so not really too sure what that's for and perhaps it was for winning the penalty but or from the cross either or we were involved in both moves that uh, resulted in not both moves the penalty was the earlier game wasn't it I'm talking gibberish it must have been for that cross that eventually ended up as a goal but let's have a look and change some of our boots shall we how do I how do I do that? Oh, I have to go to my pro, won't I? I'm going to ramble on here, so if you guys could leave the video a like if you uh, if you did enjoy, that would be absolutely superb. Uh, obviously, a, oh, what options have we got? Are they the only ones we've got? They're quite nice, those white ones. But uh, yeah, that's going to bring this episode to a close, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Um, Penalty Brazil 70. Oh, I'm not keen on those. Um, if you missed the previous one, oh, they're the only two I've unlocked. You sure? If you missed the previous episode, there will be a link on screen in the bottom left hand side. As I said earlier in the episode, there will have been a, uh, a career mode episode uploaded earlier on today. I think we're going to go with these black and gold ones. So we've got some new boots for when we come back. Uh, no, yes, advance. So we've got some new boots when we come back with the next episode, which will be on Saturday afternoons. So uh, do feel free to check back in your sub boxes and subscribe if you haven't already for more from this series and more from the AC Milan career mode as well. Of course, we'll have more of that tomorrow at uh, 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. But that's all for today, guys. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.